right so this is a case of diabetic foot so it was a ulcer like this okay ulcer with uh, some cellulitis on the dorsum of the foot this patient had you know swelling here and extending above the ankle also so there was some acute cellulitis and non healing wound since the last 4 months this wound was non healing for last 4 months so what we have done is of course we have opened there was a track here so there was pus going on the dorsum and then resulting in the cellulitis on the dorsum so we have opened this track and there was a prominent bone which was also exposed exposed bone and um, that was causing both causing pressure here and uh, osteomyelitis also was there so so we had to also we had to remove the bone because of osteomyelitis and also because it was uh, I mean, because of the pressure of the bony prominence this wound was not healing okay so it's a kind of uh, what we have done is here is debridement uh, sequestrectomy and also internal offloading of this uh, of this ulcer so since we have offloaded there is no bone here now we have excised this bone whatever was infected we have excised and there is no pressure over this point slowly this this wound will collapse and heal that is the idea okay right so that is internal offloading okay we need to understand the biomechanics of the foot to be able to you know do these procedures the gait uh, normal gait in the pathological gait once we understand that we will need uh, we will know which point we need to offload for the wound to heal in this case it was fairly straight forward because there was uh, also there was a pre- there was a pressure of this bony prominence and also infection since the infection was there we had to remove the bone anyway right so let's uh, you know for, after this we will be going to do daily dressing and wait for this to collapse and heal by itself right